What's going on guys, Ratchet Wrench is back for another video. If you don't already know, I'm Wes and this is my 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 truck. Uh, it's got the 5.7 V8 Hemi in it. And today we're gonna be installing this tractor supply truck toolbox, otherwise known as the DZ. So if you guys are new to the channel, please check out our other videos. Uh, check out our Instagram for behind the scenes content. Uh, we got this Dodge Ram, like I said here, I have the 2002 Mustang in the garage. Austin's got the white GTI, Dave's got the 2019 F-150, so we got a couple vehicles in the fleet, um, so go check out our other videos, but without further ado, let's get into this installation. Alright, so before we dive into the installation aspect of this video, I just wanted to briefly touch on different types of truck toolboxes, because there are a lot on the market. So me personally, I went with this one, it's a black rugged look, it's aluminum based, it's not steel, so it's going to be a thinner metal. Now you can't be chucking like 100, 200 pound tools in there if you work HVAC or like contracting work. So I don't do that specifically. Me, it's gonna be more for storage purposes. I do have a little bit of tools. Um, so it might dent if I toss something heavier in there, but for my purposes, it's gonna be mainly storage. Now other people, if you're a contractor or like to do HVAC work, you're gonna have heavier tools. So you wanna get a more rugged box. Now you're gonna spend a lot more money, but it's gonna be worth it. So you might spend like upwards of eight hundred thousand dollars for a heavy duty or box so there's different grades of boxes this is an aluminum box which fits me so definitely make sure you do your research before you go out and spend a couple hundred bucks or maybe even like a thousand dollars you definitely want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into so this truck box specifically uh, they have a bronze a silver and a gold tier so the bronze is going to be your cheapest option with not many um, features on it versus the silver it's what I went with uh, it has a little more features and it's probably a little better material and then you have the gold standard which is the top of the line box which you're gonna pay the most for but it has the most features so I'll go over briefly what this box has specifically for it, and this is the silver edition now other um, companies like Husky and Craftsman I'm sure they have their own way of describing this but for this tractor supply DZ box this is what they went with the bronze silver and gold so I'll go over all the features with the silver now all right so this box has a rating system for weather resistance security and durability this is the silver edition like I mentioned before so it's basically going to be one step below that gold standard in all three categories so I'll get into showing you that now so originally when I went to tractor supply I wanted the deep box because it was about the same price now the only problem I ran into was it was hitting that wheel well within the bed and it wasn't flush on the top of here towards the glass there so it could have worked but I wanted it to be perfect so I went with the crossover truck box instead so this one is obviously not as deep it's probably half the size and it's going to sit up higher so you can store things underneath but you are losing that extra space within the truck box now make sure you do your research on all the dimensions in the fitment guide I kind of just liked the one box when I saw it and took it out luckily I checked it before I left the store and had to swap it but there's different uh, cubic feet measurements and the height width and all that stuff so make sure you do your research beforehand so this specific model comes with these nice finished black handle latches so all you do is pull up on one and it goes like that so now that the truck toolbox is open, you can easily see there's two dampened gas shocks on each side. So once again, I can show you, close it. It's got a little resistance on it when you close it, which is good. Just pull one latch and it goes up nice and easy. And as you can see on the top, the bottom, and both sides, it has a nice weather resistant seal. Um, so it ensures no water is gonna get in. Just make sure that's nice and flush up against all ends to ensure that seal is proper. Um, also, if you wanna look in here, they give you a set of two keys, which you open right here, and then give you an instruction manual, which we don't need that today. Um, they give you two J-hooks, they give you a couple sets of washers, nuts, and then these plastic black pieces that go on the top. Since I got the black finished version, it's going to be a nice finishing touch inside, assuming if you get the um, like a stainless steel or aluminum model where it's bright silver um, they might give you either none of these or a silver cap but in my case I got the black cap um, also they give you the two weather strips so you're gonna put once you start installing them one here and one on the other side same deal so that's basically a quick overview of what comes with the box and what it's made of etc so now we'll jump into the installation 
All right, so we've made it to the installation part of the video. You're gonna to wanna to grab yourself a tape measure just to make sure it's centered on both sides and it looks proper. And then grab a either corded drill or cordless drill. And for this uh, specific box, you're gonna drill a 13 30 second inch hole. So make sure you have the correct bit and then um, we'll jump right into it. All right, so first step is to apply the adhesive strip on the bottom end where it's gonna rest on this part of the bed here. So. Um, I just took a little knife. This one was slightly longer than the ends of the box here, so I just snipped a little bit off, but um, peel it off basically, make sure it's nice and even, and just apply that, and then we're going to do the other side the same way. Alright, so once the adhesive pads are applied underneath, um, you're just going to make sure it's centered to your liking and it looks good, and then just check for clearance when it opens, so lift the latch, and let it go up, and then make sure it's not going to hit your glass even if it flexes so that's good for me close it and I'll get to drilling all right so onto the measurement portion uh, you're going to want to take your J hook here and your tape measure and insert the hook underneath the bed rail um, where it's going to line up inside the toolbox and then take your tape measure and basically hook it around the J hook there and mine is roughly three inches from the edge of the toolbox so basically you're going to take this tape measure, go inside the toolbox, measure three inches, and that's where you're, you'll drill the center of your hole. All right, so I did mismeasure a little bit. Uh, I drilled here when I should have drilled a little bit closer to the bed rail, but that's okay, I just drilled another hole. So once the J-hook is in, uh, you're gonna wanna put the regular washer first, then you're gonna wanna do the lock washer after that, then the 3 8 inch nut, and then use either a deep well socket or a 9 16 wrench to tighten this up, like so. And you don't wanna tighten it too much because it is pretty thin, metal and then you're going to take last but not least the vinyl cap and cover the top of the j hook there like that we'll do the other side right, guys sorry we ran out of daylight really fast but um got the truck done drilled the two holes so i think it looks awesome i'll show you what i have inside right now all right so we're up in the the truck now and i'm going to show you real quick what i have inside like i said earlier nothing too crazy in regards to tools and heavy equipment but so you can either pull the left or the right latch here goes up nice and easy and put a light on here so I got some work boots I got uh, just some work equipment in general hard hat just some basic tools so nothing crazy I will load it up more um, this weekend with some heavier stuff and see what it can withstand but as you can see on the left there uh, is where I drilled the hole nice and close to the bed rail and put the nice black vinyl cap on it so it has a nice finishing touch inside overall Pretty satisfied as of now. I have to test the truck toolbox out in general, but for now, I like it a lot. All right, guys, that concludes today's video of the tractor supplier, the DZ truck toolbox installation. Overall, fairly simple installation, just with a few basic hand tools. Um, pretty spacious in there, to be honest. I know it's the low profile one, but I can fit plenty of stuff in there. I still have plenty of room to fit more of my tools, extension cords, etc. So I'll be doing that later, but I hope you guys enjoy. Until the next one, Red Trenches out.